Is there someone in your life who makes you feel emotionally exhausted just by being around them or leaves you feeling upset, anxious, or stressed out whenever you spend time with them? If there is, then you should watch out. That person might be an energy vampire. Energy vampires aren't at all like those people you dislike or disagree with. It's not a matter of you simply finding it hard to get along with them. In fact, most energy vampires tend to be close friends or family members, always exploiting you and zapping away your energy without you knowing it. They're stubborn, manipulative, entitled, and self-absorbed. They're people who wanna have you at their beck and call. They call or use you as a psychological punching bag to feel good about themselves. Does this sound unsettlingly familiar to you? If you wanna find out whether you're in a situation like this, here are six signs you're dealing with an energy vampire. One, they like to play victim. Energy vampires usually don't take responsibility for their mistakes. They can't hold themselves accountable for the part they play when things go bad, and instead blame everyone else for what happens to them. They are manipulative. For example, they may constantly guilt trip you into feeling sorry for them, doing favors for them, and staying by their side. Based on a study by Lobel and Tabor, people who behave like this often struggle with extremely low self-esteem and seek constant validation from others as a coping mechanism. Thus, they come off as needy, clingy, and sometimes even codependent on those around them. Two, they're narcissistic. Energy vampires are known to be highly self-absorbed. Have you ever found yourself dealing with someone who constantly only ever wanted to talk about themselves and never listened to anything you had to say? Well, people like this are often charismatic and smooth talking which makes it harder to stay away from them. Oftentimes, they have little to no capacity for empathy and will usually only pretend to care about you when it benefits them. They might expect you to always put them first and be upset with you when you don't give in to their demands for attention or praise. Do you know someone like this in your life? Perhaps you might relate to being a narcissist, but feel no shame. Self-awareness is key. If you enjoy our content so far, don't forget to subscribe for more psychology and mental health content. Three, they want to dominate you. Do you know someone who's loud mouthed and loves to feel superior over others? Chances are, individuals like this are actually deeply insecure about themselves. They're afraid of appearing weak or foolish. And so they overcompensate by intimidating others and exerting their dominance over those around them. They put you down in order to feel good about themselves. They also feel insecure about your success or achievements because they fear being outdone. A study by Najee and Davis suggests that highly competitive and likely type A personalities have a neurotic need to beat others. Four, they create unnecessary drama. Chaos can be exhilarating for an energy vampire. As long as they're at the center of attention, they tend to have an exaggerated sense of self-importance and they enjoy playing the sympathy card on others. This is why they thrive in crisis and love to create problems, either for themselves or others, making mountains out of molehills. They gossip and make trouble wherever they go in order to distract themselves from the emptiness they feel. They go to great lengths just to feel intense emotions, even when they're negative. Five, they constantly criticize you. If someone constantly criticizes you and makes you feel bad about yourself, they might be toxic to your mental health. They prey on your insecurities and emotionally manipulate you. While it seems obvious enough, sometimes it can be difficult to recognize this behavior in others, especially if there's someone close to you. People like this often seem friendly on the outside, but deep down, they might already be harboring malicious intentions towards you. And six, they exploit your kindness. Based on a study by Grosch and others, in 2015, compassionate and caring people are prime targets for their abuse. If ever you've come into contact with an energy vampire and shown them any sympathy or understanding, they're likely to use your good nature against you. For example, they take advantage of you by coercing you into doing things you don't want to do. These people will demand a lot more than you can give. Establishing healthy boundaries with others is incredibly important. If someone is weighing you down and taking a toll on your emotional well-being, this person isn't worth keeping in your life. Too much company with an emotional vampire can be detrimental to your mental health. So recognize the signs and know your limitations. Do you know anyone who fits the description of an energy vampire? And how did you deal with them? 
Let us know in the comment section below. Share this with someone you think might benefit from these as well. Don't forget to click the like button and subscribe for more psychology content. And as always, thanks for watching.